calculates how much, uh, well, the, the height um, of, the, of a plant, basically, a water spinach plant uh, for the first 35 days after it starts to grow. So if we want to find out how, how much it's grown for one day, we put in a one and a two, we put in a two and so on. So they ask us how much has it grown for 15 days. So we just find W of 15. So that's 0 0.667 times 15 plus 1.515 squared minus 0 0.025 at times 15 cubed. So that gives you 263 millimeters. So uh, yeah, it's the nearest millimeter. Now write down W dash X, the derivative of, of W X. So that's nice enough. Um, so we're just going to differentiate. So, uh, yeah, so um, first bit will just be 0 0.667 plus, then I need to do 2 times 1.5, so that would be 3x, and the power just reduced down by 1, minus, and then I have to do 3 times 0 0.5. 0 0.025, so that would be uh, 0 0.075 x squared, and that's all we need to do there. That's the derivative of wx. Right here then, so we're just finding the range of values for which all of that function is greater than 24, so 1.1 plus 2.73 minus 0 0.078 x squared um, is greater than 24. So uh, we put everything on the one side, so minus 0 0.078 x squared plus 2.73 x be written around and then if we bring over the 24 and subtract it on the left hand side I would get minus 22.9 and that is equal to is greater than zero right so if it was equals if there was an equal sign there instead of the greater than sign we could just uh, use minus b formula and get two answers now, so that's what we do, but we have to recognize then that they give us the roots of what that graph would look like. So our two answers would be about 13.9. And the other one is 21.06. Right, so that's just gives us the, the quadratic there. Uh, so something like that. So, uh, yeah. And then, so it's going to be these values. We can check then, so it has to either be up here or it has to be in between so one way you can check is to pick something down here so something like 17 and just sub it in instead of the x everywhere and see is whether we get greater than 24 so if it is then it has to be that this way down here so it will be in this case so it's going to be 14 um now it's the nearest whole, each value's nearest whole number so it's everything in between 14 and uh, 21 so it can't be anything either side of that so those are our answers right so this question then is integration so they give us a hint here 
and it's a nice enough tune to actually because um, people would have ended up going into red and everything here but we only need to worry about the uh, one one side of it so uh, we're going to get the integral so I'm going to get the integral of this line here of this curve so that's the s of x so that's going to be the 2x minus x squared but then I'm going to subtract the integral of this one down here so because I'm subtracting like if I just do the 2x minus x squared it's going to give me the area of all of that but I don't want all of that I just want the shaded bit so I want to get rid of the space so I'm going to subtract the integral of the x squared because the x squared is that curve it's the uh, it's the curve for c of x so and then I'm going to do it in between 0 and 1 because I want it in between 1 and 0 and then it's dx and that should give I'm going to multiply whatever I get by 2 at the end so uh, I can simplify that first of all actually so 1 0 so 2x minus 2x squared dx then if I integrate I'm just going to get 2x squared over 2 that's just x squared minus um, 2 over 3x cubed and that's in between 1 and 0 so that would be 1 squared minus 2 over 3 times 1 minus and it's all going to be zero but i'll just put it in anyway so zero squared minus two over three times zero cubed and then we get one minus two over three now really that's just going to be one over three now remember that is just going to be for one side of the graph so we needed to get the area of this as well so i'm just going to multiply by two so at the end i could have done it within it but i didn't bother doing it that way right so two over three uh, right so we have to get k of x then so k of x is just going to be it's the same as f as, as s of x but it's the it's the reflection about the y-axis so k of x is this one here and s of x is the red one there so um yeah so f s of x is 2x minus x squared so if we want to figure out what k of x is that's going to be minus 2x minus x squared so that's the same thing as minus x squared so the, 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 the uh, minus x squared won't change but the mine the 2x changes to a minus because we're on that side of the uh, y-axis now and it, it's, it's still a quadratic that's going up and down like that so it has to be minus x squared anyway we know plus c we'll see it then is zero isn't it so b is minus 2 and c is 0. That's all I'm asking is there. Right, so part d then. So you've got two options. So p is basically the price of the, of the food. Um, yeah plant food so for option A if you look at option A option A is the usual price reduced by 10% so the usual price reduced by 10% would be 10% of P so P minus 10% of P so that's just going to be 0 0.9 P 
that's 10% reduced off P and then reduced by a further R so we take away R then as well uh, all right so the usual price so for option two the usual price reduced by R and then this new price reduced by the 10 percent so what we're doing here is we're, re we're doing P take away R and then we're reducing that by 10 percent so we're getting we're taking 10 percent off that so that would be 0 0.9 multiplied by all of that because that's 10% off of the P minus R. So which of them is the better option for you? So, uh, so yeah, it's gonna be option one is always going to be better. So I can change the second into 0 0.9 P and 0 0.9 R. So, uh, yeah, both of them have a 0 0.9p in them. So option one and option two. But in the first one, we're taking away r every time. So just say r was five there. But in the second one, we're always on, we're always going to take away 90% of r. So we're not going to take away the full r. So it doesn't matter what p and r are, as long as they're consistent in both options, it has to be the first one. Yeah, so that's it then, and that's all for that question, and that's all for that paper.